Hi, my name is Dr. Jordan Glenn. Today we're going to learn how to use the InBody 720 here in our Applied Phys Lab at Louisiana Tech University. The first thing that we have to know is that whenever we turn on the InBody, it takes a few minutes to warm up, sometimes 10 to 15 minutes. So it's really important if you're going to be doing any kind of testing or classwork or anything like that, that you're in here with enough time to prepare to allow it to actually warm up. For the purposes of the demonstration, we've already turned it on, got it warmed up for you, but I'll show you where the switch would be. If coming in, the switch is right up here on the upper right hand side, a little black switch right there. All you have to do is flip it, it'll turn on. This is what the screen will look like. So whenever you turn it on, normally you'll see a red bar going across the screen, which will show you that it's loading. Once you see this screen right here, this will know that it's all ready to go, we're ready to calibrate, or not calibrate, but we're ready to actually measure. So if we look at our subject, the first thing we have to do is have our subject take off their shoes and socks. They have to be barefoot for this analysis to work. So we'll have them take off their shoes, take off their socks. And since he has pants on, we'll have him roll the bottom of his pants up a little bit. If they're in shorts, you don't have to worry about this. So that way he's not stepping on it. And we'll have him come over, and the first thing we need to do is just have him step on. Once he steps on, it will start to automatically calibrate his weight, or measure his weight, as we see right here. After it measures his weight, it'll ask us for the rest of the information. The ID number can be anything you want it to be. So for the purpose of here, we can call it whatever we want. Let's see. One, two, three. We'll call it zero, one, two, three, four, five. And I see as I wait a second, it automatically will jump to the next number. This will be our ID. Next, we'll move to age. He's 22 years old. We'll enter that in. His height, he's six feet tall, so six feet, zero inches. We'll move that over again. He's a male. For this, we see an M and an F button. We wanna make sure that we are hitting the proper button for the proper sex, so male. And then we've already measured his weight. So now that we have that information in, we hit enter. Once we hit enter, this screen will pop up and it will show you how to measure. On the handles where the participant will be grabbing, you will see a thumb mark and a place for the palm of the hand. They will grab it like so, thumb on the actual, uh, make sure they're covering the metal pieces. So Josh, I want you to grab each of the handles. Make sure your hands are covering the metal completely. Thumbs are covering the metal pieces and you see his hands are down by his side. Once he's in this position, it will automatically start to measure. So it's getting everything together. And now if we look here, because he's been in this position for a few seconds, we see where it says analyzing, do not move. During this time, the subject should not talk. They should try to stay as still as possible because if they're talking or if they're wavering too much, it could cause an issue with the final results. So it's very important that they stay nice and still. This measurement takes about 90 seconds to go through. It feels like five minutes, but it will only take about 90 seconds to do the measurement. We see the numbers that are slowly starting to increase across the screen. When they stop increasing, we will know the measurement is done. We see weight, which has already been measured, LBM, which stands for lean body mass. We see body fat, we see BMI, and we see percent body fat percentage right here. And down here, it'll give you all the explanations for each of those individual variables. So again, we're waiting a few more seconds. Uh, the measurement will go through. Things that are very important to keep in mind whenever we're working with the InBody 720 is that if there are, especially since we're working with the feet, sometimes sweat and lotions can become an issue. We have alcohol swabs that we use to make sure we clean the, the apparatus between each measurement. And we'll go over that when it's all done. But whenever the measurement is complete, which will happen in just a few seconds, the nice thing is that the InBody is automatically connected to the printer and the results will automatically print out uh, without having to do any other steps. So we wait a few more seconds here for the analysis to finish. Just about there. Very good. Now the measurement is complete. We hear a nice little dinging sound that shows everything is done. We have them place the uh, handhelds back on the hooks so that way they're nice and safe. We have them step off. And as we see here, it automatically is gonna to go to the printer. While we're waiting for that, we can go ahead and have the subject open up the, uh, open up the tissue, simply just wiping off the foot pads like so. 
very quickly, making sure there's no nothing uh, that would cause any issues with the impedance. Also wiping off the handholds as well. Don't do that. <laughs> and voila, we're all done. You can see it automatically printed out our results for us. It'll give us a nice little breakdown. Your, whoever is helping you with the measurement, whether it's your professor or your instructor, can explain the exact breakdown of the results. But overall, that's exactly what you would do to use the InBody 720. Uh, hopefully you learned something today. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask the professors or instructors in the building. Have a great day.